Okay, so we've talked about uh, broth media. Uh, I've showed you how we make slants and deeps. All right, and another real common way that we transfer and grow organisms uh, is by the petri dish or the auger plate. Uh, this is some of the auger that uh, we just took out of the autoclave. We know that it's sterile. Uh, the reason why we use cotton is because inside the autoclave, the temperatures are so much, this is actually boiling and releasing gas. Uh, if you cap it uh, with something that uh, is airtight, it will actually grow enough pressure to blow that off, and of course, that's not what you want. So the cotton will release the gas pressure, uh, as well as the fact that any bacteria that happens to be on that cotton is going to be sterilized as well, because it's inside the autoclave also. So right now what we have uh, is a completely sterile um, uh, Erlenmeyer flask of, of uh, auger. And I'm going to pour about 10 uh, plates here and show you how that's done. Uh, right now we have sterile plates. Uh, whenever we get done with this procedure, we'll have what we consider um, a working sterile plate. Uh, these are disposable plastic plates. If you truly want to have a plate that whenever you uncap it for the first time, take the lid off for the first time, you know for a fact that that media in there is 100% sterile. You need to have the uh, Pyrex glass petri dishes because you can actually pour the media in advance, autoclave the media and the glass Pyrex inside the autoclave, and when you take it out, once it cools, it's never been exposed uh, to any air. Uh, it's a completely sterile environment. All right, so for what we do in this microbiology lab, the fact that we know that we have sterile media and the way, the procedure in which I'm going to pour this uh, basically yields a 99% uh, sterile environment. All right, it's, it's good enough for the purposes uh, for us, okay? So I want to explain that. Now what I do is I want to um, remove the lid, but only partially, okay? I'm going to go down the line and remove the lid just enough so that I can get in there and pour some of the media. Okay. Notice I'm not hanging around uh, the plates right now. I'm not lording over them. I don't want bacteria to fall off me into those plates if I can possibly help it. Okay, I'm trying to keep as sterile as an environment as I can. All right, as, as I pour it, I stand to the side and I pour the plate. Once again, you notice that I'm not lording over the plate. I'm not, uh, I'm off to the side as best as possible in order to keep bacteria that I might be shedding from falling into the plate. Okay, I poured those 10. I'm going to go back now from the side. I don't want my hand passing over the plate and bacteria falling off my hand. So I'm pushing the lid on from the side, working my way up. Voila. That's how you pour plates for the microbiology lab.